Good morning, everyone. This is Trent Papicelli from Innovative Marketing Systems. Uh, this is the first installment of our video blog um, on the pad printing process. Uh, what we're hoping to do here is to uh, give you a weekly installment about uh, all aspects of pad printing and the process of pad printing uh, in terms of everything from ink mixing to cliche making, application setup, troubleshooting, uh, machine cho choice, all sorts of different things. Most of it very, very fundamental, very basic things that we've seen in the field over and over again that result in um, difficulties for people that could be solved by just very basic adjustments to things. Um, fundamentally, what we're looking at here is an attempt to take the black art out of pad printing and let you see um, the mechanics behind it and understand the practical nature uh, of mo most solutions to the pad printing process. Uh, if there if there are issues, um, what we want to do is essentially take the voodoo out and put the science back in, so that you can approach things in a rational way. And when you're in the field and are confronted with a uh, a problem, you'll be able to understand how to approach it, which steps to take, um, and how to find the the solution that's best for your application in your situation. Um, all of that is built on basic fundamental blocks uh, that, that you need to understand right from the very, very beginning, from the, the cups you choose in ink mixing, how you make your photopolymer plates, uh, what your atmosphere is like, what your environment is like. There are all sorts of things and, and variables uh, that you need to control and understand in order to make the process work. Um, we're going to get very hands-on here. We're going to get dirty. Um, this isn't going to be real slick in terms of how we approach it. There's going to be a lot of shaky cameras and zoom-ins and cuts and me fumbling over my words. And the other gentlemen and ladies that are going to be participating in this are going to, are going to have some fun and uh, try to show you what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can incorporate these um, techniques into your process and really come out on top uh, so that, you know, fundamentally you want the process to work without it being... Um, challenging uh, or without it being just frustrating day in and day out. You want your production speeds to go up. You want to make good quality product that your customers are happy with. And um, you know you want, to, you want to be able to be satisfied with the work that you're doing. And I think that if we approach it uh, in, a, in a practical way uh, and look at things from a practical level, we're going to be able to help you with that. Um, this is, like I said, this is the introduction. There's going to be something every week. Um, uh, I think that uh, all of it is going to be useful. Uh, some of it's very, very basic, but hey, we go in the field and we see people with um, half a million dollars worth of equipment not knowing what cups to, to mix their ink in, what stir sticks to use. It's going to be basic from the beginning, but they're going to be short, sweet, on, it can come out on Fridays, and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful. If you've got topics you want to, uh, us to work on, let us know. We'll, uh, we'll incorporate them as we move along, um, and hopefully everybody likes it. We'll love your feedback. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us or, or, or work with us. Um, we'll be happy to work with you. Thanks a lot, and hope you like the first episode.